Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I'm going to go over some apps and resources that I use. A lot of them pertain to the Philippines, but not all of them. You could use them wherever you're at. Uh, the first one, we'll get right into it, is World Newspapers, and I pay for the Pro Edition. I think I pay two or three dollars uh, for the Pro ed Edition, which uh, gets rid of most of the ads. And the one I have is from Green Stream Apps. Uh, there are quite a number of different world newspaper apps, and uh, I've tried a number of them. This one seems to work the best for me. I can get uh, newspapers from around the world, and including the Philippines, Thailand, uh, all the Southeast Asian countries as well. The next resource I use is a YouTube channel called Westpac WX, West Pacific uh, Weather. This guy, Robert, uh, does some pretty good... Uh, uh, broadcasts and he is uh, he has worked in many of the weather stations uh, around Asia Japan and other areas as well uh, presently this is a current uh, a current uh, uh, shot that he put up uh, and I got from Pegasa I got a, a warning today the north end of Cebu Island is going to get some heavy rain and he does a pretty good job of uh, predicting, forecasting and giving you updates on uh, the weather in the Pacific, West Pacific in particular. The weather app I use on my phone and they've got apps for uh, Android and Apple is One Weather, and it seems to be working out uh, pretty well. I've used quite a few of them uh, over the years and uh, being with so much uh, ocean, water, mountains, uh, it is difficult to predict weather, <laughs> forecast weather in this part of the world, but I guess they do as good as, as any, and they, uh, uh, I think they're rated fairly high anyway. The Trays app is required app on your smartphone uh, if and when you fly into the Philippines, all the air terminals require that. If you don't have a smartphone, uh, they'll, you'll have to go to customer service and deal with it another way. Um, I have read about 20 different reviews in the review section of the app, and it seems that they're going through some major uh, growing pains. A lot of people having uh, problems uh, registering and using the app. Uh, so I'm not sure how effective uh, it is in the end. You know, they, the, the intentions are, are good, uh, but uh, you can read through the reviews of the app. Anyway, you're going to need it if you fly in at, at such a time that you uh, fly in the Philippines. All the air terminals are requiring that you present information using that app. I also believe that your phone will have to be set, as far as location and the settings of your phone, will have to be set to the Philippines in order to download the app. Otherwise, it will say it's not available in your country. That has been an issue as well. You may find the need for a Translate app. I was using Google Translate uh, for a number of months, and then a month or two ago, it just kind of quit uh, translating. and no longer would translate Tagalog, Filipino, and all, all I would get is Filipino right back. So I went to Microsoft, and it it was doing a pretty good job. Now, when it comes to other languages uh, in the Philippines, I don't know that there is a, a translator that will work with the other languages. If any of you know of one or have, have used a, a really good translator, let the rest of us know in the comments. For my maps, I'm using a very popular app that's called maps.me. And you can actually, you can download the apps onto your phone and uh, then you don't have to be online to use them. And uh, they, they update their maps uh, fairly often. Uh, so you can download the apps for the areas that you plan to travel in. And it's worked pretty well for me, even when I'm offline walking. Uh, they use your cell signal to uh, tell where you're at and, and able to t uh, show you the direction where you want to go when you do a search. So it works pretty well for me. If you are in the Philippines and you want to travel, here it is, uh, it's January 2021. So if you're watching this video a year or two years from now, things could be a little bit different. But anyway, the government, I believe the government uh, site has a, a site called app, 
app.philippines.travel. It's an app for your phone, your tablet, and it's also a website uh, on the internet. You can you can go to that website, and it helps to lead you uh, through the uh, requirements and restrictions traveling to various different places. I don't know how up to date the uh, the information is, but there is a lot of information there. It it's, uh, can be a, a bit of a trick learning how to uh, find your way through all that information. And some of the information is because every LGU, local government unit, and every, every region can have their own rules and restrictions, uh, it makes it difficult, very difficult in planning. And then uh, uh, you know, there used to be some sites that would give you uh, ferry schedules and those types of things, and bus schedules anymore because things have been changing uh, so often. Uh, you really need to go to the bus company or the airline company or the ferry company to find out uh, what their requirements and restrictions are. Just this last week, uh, a few areas that uh, were open for a little bit of travel and tourism uh, I read the article said that they'd closed their borders again. And uh, so it's it's a risky uh, planning travel during these times. And at the same time, sometimes the official line and official information and reality are not the same because I've had people tell me that they've traveled in di different areas and not had issues, that they didn't have to uh, go through the uh, processes that they thought they had to. They, they, they tried to, they were willing to do that, but uh, most people are not willing to uh, go get uh, uh, PCR tests. And PNP, uh, the Philippine National Police Authority, all the traveling and the, uh, uh, the requirements and maybe having to do a 14-day quarantine someplace. You should keep track of your expenses uh, wherever you're at. And, uh, you know, I prefer to write it down on paper, but I've been using... I've tried out on quite a number of different expense trackers uh, for my phone. Monify seems to be the easiest and most straightforward. Kind of shows me where I'm spending my money. You can set up a budget as well. And uh, another one that I've uh, kind of gotten used to using, Money Lover. A uh, little more thorough. You can do more things with it. I Both of them, I use the paid version, which allows me a little more leeway. And I uh, know they cost two or three dollars uh, for the app, so not very much at all. Uh, but I've tried a bunch of them, and uh, it's, it's good to know where your money's going. FlightRadar24.com, and uh, they have apps for phones as well as online version. And it says to remove ads, I think you would have to pay a subscription fee. Anyway, let's come over here to the Philippines. And uh, just give you an idea, you can uh, just put your cursor on a plane, find out what it is. Japanese airline, uh, Cebu. And you can click on it, and I don't have it. It tells you over to the left, I don't have it all in the screen. It tells you uh, all the information, scheduled uh, arrival, scheduled departure, uh, actual time, uh, what plane it is tells you a number of different things about the plane. Uh, so anyway, it's kind of fun to play with. And if you are scheduled on a flight, uh, but you can see there are not very many flights going around. Even let's go up here to Manila, give it time to refresh. There are not many flights. Marinetraffic.com. Uh, I have a app on my phone as well. And uh, interesting to track. Look at all those, uh, the US, Europe up here, Africa here, the Mediterranean. But there again, you can get additional information uh, about what it is, a tanker, cargo vessel, cargo vessel, and then what are these, per pleasure craft. Pleasure craft, the purple ones are pleasure craft. Anyway, let's run over here to Philippines and if I can find uh, here we go Philippines looks like we got a few boats out there not nearly as much as as normal 
but uh, we have a few boats out there ferries and ships and pleasure craft see if we're right there uh, Janet uh, going to Massine Massine is uh, is up here on Lower Leyte right right about in this area I think and let's see here you've got uh, destination Iloilo which is over here this is a tanker cargo vessel passenger vessel and what you'll notice is there aren't very there's a fast cat which it would be I, I believe that would be a passenger vessel um, not very many passenger vessels out there at the present time a VPN a virtual private network and many of you use that uh, I use a paid one I, I pay for one every year private internet access has fairly good ratings um, there are a number many many uh, free ones out there and many paid ones as well uh, do your own reviews and decide what you need uh, there are times I want to do uh, online business in the US and I log in to the US uh, to connect with my bank or my credit card companies uh, to send myself money and when I don't do that I, I have issues they in fact, even when I when I use a different computer or something, uh, they will often deny a request and ask me to call them to verify it's me. That's not fraud. Uh, so I usually use a private uh, internet access, a VPN, uh, to log into the U.S. And then I almost always never have those types of issues. It also offers you another layer of uh, security for your phone and or computer. Uh, tablet so uh, I would strongly suggest you get one I also suggest that you get an internet uh, and cellular speed test app I've got uh, two or three of them on my on my phone one uh, one does both internet and cellular there are a number of them in the app stores and that way if you're looking uh, to get a rent a place someplace um, or buy a place you can check the speed without uh, subscribing to a service uh, you can check the speed and see what is at that location. Now here in Cebu City, for instance, I was told up above about the ninth floor, uh, cellular can uh, cellular signals and data signals can get pretty spotty. I had that uh, issue today talking to a friend. We're both, I'm at 11th floor and he's at uh, I think the ninth floor and it was in and out, fading in and out, so it was difficult to talk. Sooner or later, you're going to want to send yourself some money one way or another. Use an ATM machine. Uh, be sure to notify your banks and credit card companies uh, that you're going to be in a different country. And even when you've done that, there have been many times where my friends have told me the first time they've tried to use their, uh, their card at an ATM machine uh, to get cash. It doesn't work. It takes a couple days sometimes to get that uh, settled out i sometimes use my credit uh, my debit card sometimes at an atm sometimes i use a money transfer service like zoom which is owned by paypal and i've used a couple of, of them in the past uh, but even those can be have issues so it's good to have one or two of those set up uh, today for instance i used a different device to try to uh, send myself money and uh, it was going to take like three days usually it's like two minutes and it's there and uh, I canceled it went to an ATM machine and later they sent me an email saying they had canceled it because of security issues um, so don't wait until the last minute to get money and make sure you have two or three different ways to get money when you need it now this is a bit of a bonus pick for those of you who are still with me I think uh, the, the average watch time on a lot of these videos is uh, uh, five seven five seven eight minutes just depends upon uh, the video so those of you who are sticking with me this is a uh, this is a, a bonus if you've ever if you haven't lived close to an ocean uh, you're probably not familiar with tides tide goes out tide goes in can make a big difference if you're if you're walking swimming snorkeling in different areas and uh, uh, the, the tide is out and you go around 
back in some area and then the tide comes in and you're trapped in those areas. There are many cases over the years where people drown because there's no way out of there as, as the, the water comes back in. And uh, I've, I've tried many different tide chart uh, apps and uh, this one by 7th Gear on the Play Store uh, seems to work very, very well. I've, I've tried a number of them. Most of them do not have tides for the Philippines has been my experience. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's good to know those types of things, uh, especially if you're near the water, on the water. Uh, anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, uh, coming along, and I've got, uh, I've got lots more apps and resources, but uh, I will do that in a separate video, maybe in a month or so.